They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, Masters at discerning subtleties and signs followed the truth. With the words of the scripture did they convert the heretics. With fire did they cleanse the witches. By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the guard captain. Mortimer Maladine. Licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezram. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the Mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear the bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Quiet, fool. Or you'll bring trouble on our heads. What did you call me? Uh, he meant no offense, Master. He doesn't think that at all. Don't play me for a fool. Your commander will hear of this. He will administer your punishment. Don't do it, Master. The captain will throw me out of the guard. I beg you. Have mercy. Why, isn't today a celebration of Christ triumphant? Are you tempting an Inquisitor into committing the sin of mercy? Please. I'll do anything for you. Anything? I swear by the broken cross. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, Master. But be wary of ruffians. The sons of whores are always lurking in the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Oh, 
um, what's going to happen to me? I'll find you. Should the need arise. Then we shall see the value of your oath. Stole my shirt skin. that I may never meet out punishment in moderation. who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Phoebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. What is your name, Master? Mortimer Matadine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. 
I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the Monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. That's supposed to be a dodge? my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. It's the same punk who robbed me. ...and Spartan helmets and sets of armor? Buy your costumes! Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! Not him. Let go. It hurts. Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And 
My parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the plague of pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill. To pick up the pail, move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning. fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? to try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Finally. It's the inquiry. 
Inquisitor. Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues, then. Name's Roland. Master Executioner. Mortimer Maladine. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. If you need help, stop by the dungeons. I have a few toys there that will certainly make your job easier. Well, Merchant, you've wasted enough of my time. Got anything for the Executioner? Here are the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tianon. The Butcher who disappeared off the face of the Earth a few years ago? He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He's sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. Poppycock! Piss off, or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the Merry Executioner from Tianan find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master. Don't lie, or you'll end up in the pillory. I'll tell you everything, my lord. Don't hurt me. An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. Your words stink of lies. It was as I said, I swear. I'll get to the truth one way or another. I'll be back. If I discover you play me for a fool. <laughs> Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom, so he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The Centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. 
But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my payment. Jesus snatched the Centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius' head, thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King! And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the Emperor. They say he pissed on his eminence's boots while drunk. It's good he didn't shit in them, or they torture the poor bastard. Did you see the milk jugs on Helga? Sure did. I've never seen bigger ones in my life. I hear she likes the hump, but only the Spanish way. What way is that? How should I know? I've never been to Spain. I bet you have to grab her by those jugs like a bull by the horns. Haven't Get to detail me. Haven't seen him. He was here a moment ago. Look, he even left some flour behind. Treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metadine, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Hey, children. Have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So... Maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He... he's got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look, Inquisitor! I put your silver angel to good use. You bought a dog instead of food. 
I saw it at the stand with masks. The merchant's son was tormenting him something awful. I couldn't just ignore it. He looks like the mutt I saw in my vision. What's it called? Don't know. I haven't named it yet. How about friend? Yes, it suits him. <laughs> and I think he likes it. How about it, friend? Take good care of him, Scamp. Don't worry, Inquisitor. He'll be happy with me. Let's go, friend. I wasn't wrong. It's the dog from the vision. I wonder how it ended up at the merchant stand. Maybe I'll find out in the unworld. This is a good place for a journey to the unworld. Our father, who art our king, bereave us of our weakness, lest we forgive those who trespass against us, and draw out evil from darkness, so we may vanquish in thy name. Sold me the mask.
Your amulet betrayed you. Should have sold me the mask and costume when I was asking nicely, witch. You're probably wondering how I knew you for a witch. Hmm? Your amulet betrayed you. <coughs> we'll meet again, Knave. I don't think so. Farewell, friend. Merchant. You didn't buy the Mary Executioner's costume. You took it from the old lady that you burnt at the stake. How do you know all this? You're a fool if you think I'm about to explain myself to you. Forgive me, Master. I didn't want to speak of it in front of my customers. They wouldn't buy my wares that they heard. She was a witch. A real witch. I did a good deed by killing her. You would have done the same in my place. Give back the Mandrake amulet you took from her. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynching. Only licensed inquisitors are allowed to sentence people to the stake, and only after a thorough investigation. You are not a licensed inquisitor, are you? Guards! Yes, master? The merchant violated an inquisitorial prerogative. Take him to the dungeon. Leave me be! I haven't done anything wrong! She was a witch! Get your fucking hands off my father, you scoundrels! The mouthy punk was tormenting the dog. Put him in the stocks for an entire day. Let the children throw some horse dung at him. It'll teach the punk to treat lesser creatures with respect. With pleasure, master. Ah! Ow! Ow! And what about the stand? In the name of the holy office, I hereby confiscate the merchandise to cover the costs of your trial. Seal this lousy stand once he's locked in a cell. Unless the people steal everything by then. No. I beg you. It's all I have. Now that this is settled, I can use some wine. So
your wine any good? Finest Rhenish vintage, Master Inquisitor. Sweet as the body of a virgin, and strong to boot. Sure it's not diluted. By the nails and thorns, would I mix delectable Rhenish wine with water? Why, that would be criminal! I'd sooner cut off my own hand! That'll be five silver angels. That is a truly noble beverage. So take six. The holy office is paying. There you are. Do you have the mask? By the Lord's sword. I completely forgot about that. Men, you have time until tomorrow. Now come, you'll walk me home. On the way, you'll tell me why you were dispatched to Königstein. If it's not a secret, that is. It's not. Everyone will be talking about it soon anyway. The Holy Office received news of a vampire prowling the town. I am to see if there is any truth to it. A vampire in Königstein? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. The Holy Office hears much more than ordinary people. So then, how do you intend to find it? I'll start with the inns. I'll listen to the rumors. Ask around the staff and the regulars. Then you should definitely stop by the Frisky Mermaid. It's the town's most popular inn. The fat innkeeper is likely to know about everything that's going on in Königstein. for the rescue. You've arrived just in time. Such was God's will. Who were the assailants? I don't know. I didn't recognize any of them. I know that one from the harbor. Must have been part of that gang. We've been looking for you, mistress. The cardinal asks that you go to the cathedral post-haste. You? I don't know. Who are you? Mortimer Matadin, licensed inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hezezron. Forgive the insistence, Master Matadin. Welcome to Königstein. I shall inform the Cardinal of your arrival. His eminence is currently preoccupied, but he will certainly wish to speak with you later. Come to the cathedral between the first and second tolling of the bells for Vespers. It is the time of day when the Cardinal talks to worshippers. Do not worry about the bodies of these villains. The town guard will dispose of them. Tell the Cardinal that I will be there. Please forgive my brusqueness, Mordemar. This assault made me lose my composure. Sadly, I must leave you here. Duty calls. I'll see you tomorrow at the Mama's Parade. Pity that she works for the Cardinal. Good to know. They reek of rotten fish. That small-time ruffian had the same stench about him. Maybe he was working for them. The Cardinal's soldier mentioned a gang prowling the harbor. If 
If I found that hideout, I could recover my sure skin. Hmm. It's worth a try. no lock. The door's been bolted from the inside. Spare me, sir! I beg you! I have children!
Do you know who I am? Inquisitor! The whole town's been talking about you! And yet you decided to come after me. A man can't say no to coin when he's got none to feed his children! Have you heard anything about a vampire? It's what the noble folk call us. The have-nots. They say we suck the town and its funds dry, but it's been years since anyone's heard of any actual vampires. Who sent you after me? A woman eyed us in the armor. She wore an expensive Venetian mask, so I didn't see her face. But her voice seemed familiar. She was wearing white gloves and paid with silver. I should kill you, but I will spare your life. Should you meet the woman in the Venetian mask again, tell her that an Inquisitor is not easily frightened. Strange coins. City map with underground entrances marked on it. Could be useful. There's nothing for me here. Time to look into the vampire case. I hope they've got good wine at the Frisky Mermaid. Do you know a woman who wears a Venetian mask? An expensive one. Half of them wear such masks, Master. Each prattling on about how her mask is special, but they all look the same to me. Did anything happen? A harlot's been murdered. Gruesome sight. Thank you. 
waste of time. Call the town guards. We've already sent for them, Master. What's everyone staring at? Someone murdered the harlot. Merciless Mary! It's horrible! Just thinking about it. Give this to the owner of the Frisky Mermaid Inn. Tell him to prepare a room for me for the night. There's a silver angel in it for you if you do a good job. client. It appears someone knocked her out first. Maybe someone saw something. this special whore in town. A hermitite, Hermitite, something. She's got both a fanny and a prick. <laughs> so you and your old lady can ride her together. They say lines are forming to see her. That's how eager to fuck she is. Familiar face. Yes, it's Roxanne, a whore from Burgundy. I saw her around the inn. I even made use of her services a few times. She was good at her job. Half the town's humped that one. I arrived only yesterday. I don't know. I'm not from around here. I arrived only yesterday for the fair. Don't you know? Satan! It's his doing! He messes with people's heads. The way I see it, you're all fucking suspects. You, me, all of them. <laughs> Fuckers. Blood suckers are still around, are they? In Königstein? It can't be. Well, there's this one doctor. I heard there's none better at bloodletting. He'll put leeches on you to suck the disease right out. But he'll also drain your purse dry, the bloodsucker. Well, I found out quite a lot. Something stinks of piss here. Maybe someone was using the outhouse while the murder was being committed. It seems to be a piece of a cane. There's no blood on it. I wonder, could it be related to the case? Stinks like someone took a bath in manure.
Don't hurt me, sir. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Get up! You're coming with me. And don't try to run, or you'll feel my sword. Hey, you there! Get over here! Yes, Master? Where's Captain Bertram? Interrogating guests at the inn. Who's this bum? And how did he get his hands on a cardinal soldier's coat? I hope we'll find that out soon enough. Watch him. I must have words with your commander. I'm innocent, Master. Shut your mouth, you filthy bastard! No one's asking your opinion. Your snot nosed mistress. I hope that scamp's making arrangements for my room. Where were you at that time? Carl can vouch for me. I, I I was having a beer with him. It is true. It is true. Captain. Forgive me, Master, but I don't have time right now. I know what happened. I saw the corpse. I came because I managed to detain a papa who was behaving suspiciously near the crime scene. Your men are guarding him outside. Off with you. He was wiping blood from this dagger. A strange blade. I've never seen any of its ilk. Nor have I. That is why we must approach this case with due diligence. Especially because the murder bears the marks of a ritualistic killing. Ritualistic? The victim's kidneys were removed. How horrid! That's not all. The suspect was wearing a coat like those worn by the Cardinal's soldiers. A pauper? How is that possible? I assure you that a thorough interrogation will help us determine the facts. I would like to conduct it personally. Preferably in a place that's meant for such purpose. As you wish, Master. I shall lock the suspect in the dungeons. One more thing, Captain. I came to the defense of a lady named Liliana today. We were assaulted by robbers in an alley. The commander of His Eminence's soldiers informed me about the incident. He failed to mention Liliana, though. Odd. Residents of Königstein know the girl serves the Cardinal. They also know that his eminence doesn't tolerate attacks on his people. Attend to this pauper, Captain. I wish to talk to Master Manadine in private. Is something wrong with you? It's just garlic. My stomach doesn't agree with it, and the innkeeper uses rather excessive amounts of it. Ooh. Luckily, the wine provides a measure of relief. Sit down, please. I would like to talk about the task that brought you here, Master. Do you really believe there's a vampire hiding in town? It's absurd. There hasn't been a vampire attack recorded around here for nearly a century. I would know if it were otherwise.
I assure you that I wouldn't have been dispatched to Königstein if there weren't grounds for it. Preposterous. I believe the Holy Office should look into a different matter. Strange events have been taking place here for some time now. Meaning? For years now, the town's been the setting for a dispute between the Cardinal, whom the have-nots hate, and the universally adored Countess Isabella. The Harlot's murder may be a part of that conflict, as could be the assault on Liliana. I have my suspicions, but no concrete proof. I know that the Cardinal keeps his secrets in an office that only his monks can access. I've also managed to ascertain that there's a secret chamber at the Countess's palace. My spies were not able to infiltrate it, but you, Master, you just might. Should you accomplish it, the truth would be revealed. What truth? As I have already said, all I have are suspicions, but the inn is not a good place to talk about this. These walls have ears. I must leave town today, so let us meet at the city hall in two days' time. By then, you'll have become acquainted with the case. If you decide I'm right, I'll introduce you to my Persian and tell you everything I've managed to find out so far. Your Persian? Yes, my Persian. The only one I trust. What say you, Master? This is not why I came here. But all right. Perhaps we'll catch two birds with one stone. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Your station as Inquisitor should guarantee your safety, but proceed cautiously nonetheless. Just in case, I'll announce that you're helping the Captain catch the Harlot's killer. It will explain your interest in the case. See you in two days, Master Matadin. Nothing is an accident. If God put the mayor in my path, then he suddenly had an important reason for it. Maybe that will lead me to the vampire. The first tolling of the bells. Time to go meet the cardinal.